Hey y'all, I want to do this uh, new video, explain how to use this USB microscope that I just got, and I gotta tell you, it's pretty crappy, okay, this, this uh, stand that it came with, was uh, it's too light, okay, so I added this bar back here. This is like a flash extension. See? And what it does is the counter balances it keeps it from falling over. So the uh the screws for the uh where it mounts is the same as any camera. So I was able to just screw this base onto this knob here and then screw my thing onto this onto the knob. Put it to the back here and it uh counterbalances it for me so when i uh you know when you every time you touch this thing it wanted to fall over so now it doesn't fall over see even if i try to push it i got a nice counterbalance on it and it doesn't fall over anymore okay so another thing is let me straighten this out Okay, now when you're looking at it, it if your uh, thing here is in the front, then your uh, picture will be oriented the right way. If it's any other way, it's going to be like backwards or sideways, and you're going to be disoriented trying to look at the picture or trying to, you know, move on your object that you're trying to focus on. Another thing is, this is basically a, a regular webcam with a, uh, a little little trick they use to focus it. It's like a little uh, pointy thing inside there. So it just focuses on a certain spot and you could zoom in manually here. But mainly to, to zoom in you gotta bring it real close down almost almost to touching. If you bring it back up you know you're gonna get a nice zoom but you know, it's just really just like a webcam. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm using it on my tablet. I tried it on the computer. It worked and then it didn't work and then it crashed my computer. So I just said, oh, I'm just going to use it with the tablet. You know, you just plug it in. My tablet has a USB port. Let's turn it on. Get this started here. Now this is my, I set this up by default and I shouldn't have, because I don't like it anymore. What I'm using is Camera Fi 2. That can be found in the uh, Play Store, Camera Fi 2. Now what I liked about this Camera Fi is it has some filters you could apply. And uh, it does have ads that are annoying, but uh, I'll just have to deal with that. I'm going to make this my default so I get to get rid of that other one. Yes, I would like to switch to the USB screen. Okay, now you can see it's on, right? Now let's focus on that penny there. So I'm just going to adjust the focus knob a little bit. And you can see you get a nice nice close up. There's the date, nineteen ninety four. You can see the annoying uh ads popping up. There you go. I don't know if you can see that too good. But anyway, if you uh if you get real close, you you move the knob all the way to the right. And that'll uh, focus even, you know, that'll zoom even more. So what I'm going to do is move this down closer. Yeah. Not working too good.
anyway you can see it's uh, nice and zoomed in but what they're saying is anything after like 30 millimeters away is going to be just like a webcam so yeah you just just use this knob and adjust it slightly so you get a nice focus in which is sometimes hard to do especially if you don't have this counterbalance on because it's moving around so much let me come on the other side here make it easier And you can see it's coming into focus, focus right there. Okay, like uh, once you get it focused, you can just leave it alone, and then maybe you can move in what, whatever you want it to look at. So, say I wanted to move in this dime. See, it's already focused. I don't have to touch it again. Right? I got a dime back here. Oh, look at that. It looks like a double strike, huh? Looks like I found me a double strike. The other dime didn't look like that, did it? Let's put it in. I got the Liberty here. Eh, kind of looks like it. But I, they might be from the same batch. No, one's a 2016. Almost 2017, right? Yeah. Anyway, if you buy one with this uh, with this cheap stand, if you can think of a way to counterbalance it, like I did you'll be better off there you go or if you can make your own stand I was going to make my own stand then I came up with this idea to counterbalance and it seems to be working pretty good another thing is my uh, thing was all loose inside so I took it apart and be careful if you have to take it apart because any little speck that gets on your lens you're gonna see it see these little specks I got here that don't move when I move the camera yeah they're on my lens or on the yeah see it see those specks that don't move they're from uh, dust on my lens you, I tried to clean it twice First I had a big giant black spot on the side here, so I took it apart and got that, got rid of that. And then, uh, not realizing it, I put it back together and I had even more spots. So, if you're going to take it apart, do it in a clean area, not like me. Let's see. So there you go, see that ear? <coughs> So if you're going to be using it for coins or whatever, you know, it really does zoom in good. But it is cheaply made. And the software that comes with it ain't that great. See now, if I uh, zoom it all the way out like that, I'm basically making it a... Uh, Just a uh, regular uh, webcam. Zoom. There's a nice clear picture there. That's nice and clear. So and you could turn the light up or down on this, like this. See how bright it gets. The brightness doesn't seem to matter much, but when you turn it off, you can see the difference. 
Now we're just doing our room light. So sometimes I think the light is casting a bad shadow. See? Now another thing is about this uh, camera phi too. I can slide this over. That nah, ain't working now. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. But anyway, there's a whole another menu here. Oh, maybe I could do it with, with it on there. That nah, ain't working. Yeah, if I go back, it might work. It ain't working, damn it. That's why I, I almost, that's why I was trying to uh, install the other programs because when I, uh, I used it and it had the filters and then when I went back to try to use the filters again, they weren't there. I'm like, what the hell's going on with this thing? So let me go and plug this again and then plug it back in and see what happens. Oh, I'm on M scopes again now. I don't want that. I gotta get rid of that. <clears throat> so what I think I gotta do is start it over again. So let's try that. Camera five two. Yeah, some these uh, cheap cameras, they're they're okay, but they ain't really worth the shit. Yeah, it ain't working. Anyway, there was a thing that I could slide from the edge here with filters and stuff on it. I even took pictures with it. Now it won't work. Oh boy. Well, that's about it for this guy. You can turn the picture around by hitting this button up here. When it works. Doesn't want to work. Having a bad day. Anyway, anyway, you get the uh, the gist of it. If you keep it closer to the product, you're going to get a nice magnified image like this. If you uh, move it too far away, it's just going to be like a webcam. If you move it real close in, you're going to get the best, uh, you know, microscopic magnification. To where you know you're going to see the threads in the threads of your pants, maybe or whatever you're going to look at. So anyway, that's about it for this thing. I guess you could say I'm kind of disappointed. Oh, there's the filters. I wonder how I got that by hitting this. See what I mean? Don't it don't want to always come up? Oh, there it is. There it is. So now we have filters here. So let's filter. And you can see down here we have original, we have theta s, emboss, mosaic, blur, mono, and sepia. Now the best ones are uh, emboss, like that. Can you see that emboss? Then we have sepia. And we have mono. I don't know what this one is. Oh, virtual reality. It's like, uh, yeah, it's real weird. See it? We ain't gonna use that. Mosaic. That's crap. Anyway, I like the mono, I like the sepia, I like the emboss, and then we got original here. And of course you could add text. Just type in your text, ASD, space, not assholes, I didn't type that. I 
typed ASD. Oh boy. Then you press check over here. And it goes on your picture. Not too good, I might add. But you can spread it out by this button here. Or you could, uh, you could add an image to your picture so you could compare something. So if I want to uh, click that right there and tell it OK, it adds the picture over your uh, magnifying. And so you could compare two different things on the screen. So anyway, that's how you use your uh, USB camera with Camera Fi 2 on your Android device. And I'm going to end this video right here. Do I recommend you buying this? Well, it's cheap enough. You could probably get one for around anywhere from 10 to $25, depending on if you look hard enough. Anyway, thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.